My name is Sarah. I'm the Community Engagement Administrator for Durham County Library. Today we're going to continue our mini-series exploration experiencing art through our senses. For the next few minutes, blind artist John Bramblett and art expert Jackie Siri will be leading us through the sense of taste and how it can be used to experience art. To get ready for today, I just ate a chocolate cookie. What's your favorite taste? Let's take a look at how we can use taste to experience art. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio for what I think is going to be my favorite week yet. Taste. Yeah, it's all about flavor this week. And, you know, flavor is going to be one of the most personal senses, really. You know, it if there's a food that you like, it just you know, means so much to you. And you, can almost, you almost can't believe if another person doesn't like that food. Oh, yeah, like comfort food. Comfort food. I'm, or I'm, some, some foods do, like completely divide people like cilantro. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't like cilantro. <laughs> I love it. Almost all food is comfort food to me, but not cilantro. It tastes like soap to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. You know, and I, I know a lot of people say it tastes like soap and other people just love it, you know, but, um, it's, yeah. but it's very personal, you know, and food adds a lot of color to our lives. And when it comes to art, that's really important because we use all of our senses whenever we're taking in the world. And when we're making art and appreciating art, the more of our senses that we can use and incorporate in the art, the better the art is and the better the experience. Yeah. Which means today, I get to eat some jelly beans. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, one of the things when it comes to art, like I, I use a sense of taste quite a bit in my paintings. So I'm going to open these up here and see if I can get most of them on the table. But the way that I, that I use them in my artwork is that I'll, I'll taste something and it'll give me the idea for a, a color. And it doesn't necessarily have to be what the color of the object or the thing that you're eating is. So here, let me, um, or, do, or do you want to pick one out or, or, mm, or do you want me to? Maybe this one, try this one. Okay. And I, I can't see the color of it. But you can see the color. Yeah. You know what the color, okay, before, before I you know, get rid of it. Mmm. Right, <laughs> Well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Never met a jelly bean you didn't like. That's true. Mm. You know? Wow. That's a little different. Almost has like a tan sort of color. Really? Yeah, along, along with um, like a really light green. It, it just seems like it, like it's mm. like it's sweet, which is almost like a yellow color to me, but it has like a greenish, more greenish tan. Oh. What, what was the real color? It was green. It was green. green. What do you think the flavor is then? I'm not really sure on that one, to be Maybe honest. Maybe an apple? It's... Yeah, it might, you know, it might, it might be like a Granny Smith kind of apple. Okay. So, you want to try one more? Yeah, let's do another. Uh... I'll try as many as you want. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This one's easy. This is popcorn. Oh, okay. So, um, but to me, the flavor, though... Again, it kind of tastes brown, but it tastes yellow, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of yellow. But I know popcorn is white, but I'm not really getting any white oh. at all. So it, actually, some red, a little bit oh, of red. Interesting. But that's 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 the colors that I have, and whatever colors that you come up with, that's perfectly right. That's great. That's that's your experience of it, and that's what makes it interesting. Well, you know, you have a thing called synesthesia, mm -hmm. and so. John did a painting of a Hershey bar, and um, because of the synesthesia, you experienced that completely different. Why don't you describe that for us? Yeah, and synesthesia just means that you have one sense that's sort of doing the work for other senses in a way. So whenever I hear music, I see color. Whenever I taste um, different flavors, I'll see different colors. Um, with a Hershey bar, now I know that the chocolate is brown, but it doesn't taste brown to me. It's very sweet, and for some reason, sugar tastes yellow. It's just very, very yellow. Um, but you'll notice in this painting, though, that there isn't that much yellow in it. Or there's or there's quite a bit. But there isn't much... Um, brown. Yeah, the, yeah, there isn't brown. And, and chocolate, to me, is kind of green. And I know it's supposed to be brown, but to me it's bitter, which is green. And you don't see very much green in the painting, but that's because Hershey's chocolate isn't very bitter. Yeah. There isn't actually that much chocolate in it, but there's a lot of milk in it. And milk to me is blue. And that's what all that blue in there is. Huh. So it's a lot of sweetness, a lot of the milky sort of flavors. Um, with coffee for me, like if I put milk in my coffee, milk is blue. The coffee is green. Sugar is yellow. So I don't put milk in cream and um and sugar in my coffee because it just oh, makes an ugly yeah. color so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so 
one way that you can use flavor is to color your artwork to be yeah. able to taste something and to see. So you we, know? yeah, so so we thought we'd do an experiment. Mm -hmm. So John has his interpretation of the Hershey bar, and so now I get to do my interpretation of a Hershey bar. So <laughs> you got to do research first. I do have to do research, clearly, <laughs> a lot of it. So um, I'm going to taste this Hershey bar. So you already opened it for me. Thank you. You know, and smell is a big part of taste as well. And I can already smell the chocolate coming over over here. But okay. Now, have you noticed, like, whenever you taste a Hershey bar, how sweet it is? So, like, if you if you taste dark chocolate, it would be a completely different painting if you were trying to go off the just the flavor. So dark chocolate is much more bitter. You know, it has a completely different flavor than Hershey's milk chocolate. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do more research. So, but it's interesting. I, I I taste this, and naturally, because you can see it, you think browns with with all of it. But if I'm to put that aside and really think about the flavors, you know, I imagine a very different painting of a Hershey bar than what you did. Oh, but that's not brilliant. Brown. That's interesting. You know, about art, it's not about right or wrong or anything. It's just about expressing yourself. So if someone doing a different painting isn't that they're like doing a better painting or worse painting it's just that they're doing a different painting they're doing their interpretation yeah i yeah. want to see that right. yeah well well i'm going to give it a try um let's do this all right all right okay so what i have in front of me is john's painting of the hershey but in black and white so i can apply my own interpretations of what chocolate looks like when i taste it and as opposed to john who sees a lot of blues and a little bit of yellows and, and make you know making it all green all these different colors I actually saw more reds and some blue making it purple and a little bit of green so what I'm gonna do is go in and and just kind of do my interpretation of this painting with the colors that really really you know, make me think chocolate. interpretation of a Hershey bar oh my goodness <laughs> I wish I could touch it to see what it feels like but I don't want to smear it can you describe it yes so when I tasted the chocolate I actually saw more blues and reds and a little bit of greens and and all this sort of um, you know I, I, I just I didn't see the colors you saw which mm -hmm. I thought was kind of interesting so in mine I I did kind of an outline of the outside of it in the blues with it mixing into the reds to, to almost give it this purpley um, thing. And then I went over the, the Hershey letters with the, a little bit of red and green. Ooh, that sounds and, um, and I I didn't fully color it in. I left some of the, the background, the, the you know, the grayscale of it to come through and act as the white. So oh, that's smart. That's I cool. I didn't fully, fully paint it, but mine looks very different from yours. You know, and that makes sense. You know, people have different opinions when it comes to different flavors as well. You know, somebody could hate something. Another person is their favorite food in the, in the entire world. Some people don't, don't like milk chocolate. Other people love it. And those that love it will love it in different ways. <laughs> so it makes sense that the artwork coming out of that would, would be different. Yeah, it'd be interesting to do a painting of milk chocolate versus dark chocolate, you know, and, and, and see what, what people get out of that. Yeah, so I want to challenge you guys to actually try some of the food around you, some of your favorite foods, and think about colors. What, what sort of colors does it make you think of? And then when you're drawing, when you're painting, try to incorporate those ideas into your artwork. And the next time that you go into a gallery or a museum, and that you see food or you see different things in the paintings that um, might have a flavor to it, actually think about what that might 
tastes like. Yeah. And if it if and if that changed how the artist portrayed the food in the painting or or not. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Next week, I think we're going to talk about touch. Oh, no. Touch is going to be one of my favorite weeks, That's too. <laughs> definitely your department. So. Yes, an eagle. My, my guide dog is going to help us out with that one. Yeah, that'll be fun. So be sure and join us. Thanks. Thanks, guys.